Hello, Internet. This is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here. And just a quick uh, ethics statement here, which is that while I wasn't paid by Noise Industries to do this, I did receive a few plug-in packages uh, that they licensed to me for this. Um, however, uh, basically anything that I cover in here, I use on my personal projects and on my clients' projects, and I have absolutely no problem fully endorsing all of the plugins that I've included here. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the Noise Industry website, which is noiseindustries.com slash fxfactory. Uh, what you want to do is click on the Download FX Factory button from the main page there, and it's going to download the software, and then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up. And as you can see, some are highlighted and some are grayed out. And if they're grayed out, it means that they're not currently installed and won't show up in Final Cut. When we go into the preferences, we'll go a little deeper into that. So you can see there's little uh, check mark boxes next to them. These are the ones that I have installed personally. And uh, these are the ones that I use and show up in Final Cut. And all you need to do to enable them is click the checkbox and they'll come into Final Cut. Also, when you go into rendering, um, you want to check your limit resolution size. I leave mine at 8K because I do a lot of red work and if I don't have it set there, it's hard for me to work with epic footage. But you can basically render any resolution. That setting's basically there to protect slower computers. So if you have a slower machine, you may want to set it a little bit lower. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead, enough of all this, let's get into Final Cut and go ahead and get started. So what I'll be showing you here is what is literally my favorite plugin in all of Final Cut, which is the Naturist Levels and Curves plugin. And I'm a colorist by trade, but the thing of it is, is not every project needs to go into DaVinci Resolve. And the one thing that the Final Cut 10 color correction systems was really missing was access to curves, which if you've used them before, they basically give you more control over your image as you're color correcting and give you a much more pleasing look than what the simple three-way correction can do. And the Naturist Levels and Curves is kind of a bridge between those worlds. And for smaller projects that don't need a ton of uh, changes and alterations to them, the Curves plugin is great. So let me show you how this works. What you're looking at here is a single clip from a podcast that was shot with the Technicolor profile with the 7D camera, which gives a very flat look, which is more suitable for color correction. And when I go into it, the simple Final Cut uh, three-way controls under the Exposure tab, you have the blacks, you have the mids, and you have the whites. And you really only have three ways of modifying the exposure of the image here. And this is where the Curves plugin comes in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to my effects browser and drag on the curves plugin onto this first clip here and what you're gonna see is a series of controls that give you access to various ranges along the, your color and luminance channels so for example I'm gonna lower the toe here down to 16 percent and I'm gonna raise the knee up to 86 percent and this basically mimics a typical S-curve adjustment, which is a more pleasing contrast adjustment that you would often perform in a program like Resolve. And then I would simply click the Show Curves, and those on-screen controls are going to go away, and your grade, for the most part, is probably about done. Uh, and you also have a couple presets that you can quickly access, which is an S-curve or a strong S-curve. And usually, if you're dealing with uh, Technicolor profile footage, this is all you basically will need to do for the most part on an average clip. Although in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Final Cut Color Corrector now and I'm just going to pop the saturation a little bit and I've gone, I will have gone from what was an extremely flat grade to with literally a couple clicks, a basically finished nice looking grade that I can then copy and paste across multiple clips by using the paste attributes command. So 
I would push Shift Command V and then select my color and effects in the Curves plugin and now all those corrections are going to easily be applied across all of the clips that I want to apply them to. And the real advantage of all this is that it gives you access to parts of your image which is between the blacks and the mids and the mids and the whites that you wouldn't have access to with the three-way so you can make a more complete grade to your image. Anyway, uh, in this next example there are a couple other filters you have access to and basically what those are is they split the curves filter in half. The first one, the curves luma, gives you access to just the luminance curve of your image. So it's not going to affect your individual color channel. So as you can see as I'm going up and down my colors are remaining constant. However, the brightness is being affected. And you generally want to use this filter when the regular curves filter is causing your image to become more saturated than you would like it to. Just use the curves luma instead. Now the curves RGB is the opposite of that where it just gives you access to your individual red, green, and blue color channels. So you would have in the same way that the regular curves filter gives you more control over your image. The same can be said with the curves RGB filter giving you more control over your individual color channels so that you can affect more precise parts of your image. So pretty much uh, if you're planning on finishing a lot of projects within Final Cut 10 this plugin set is basically a must own. I basically use it for every single project I do. Uh, I can't really recommend it higher. Uh, if I had one suggestion for the FX Factory team for a future release is that I'd love to be able to move the controls horizontally and also be able to add more points if I needed to, but those are kind of small things in general. This works great for 95% of what I need to do, and I find myself going to resolve less and less because of it. And if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it, well, this is what I do for a living, so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So, if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, check us out over at wemakemovies.org. Or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut! <laughs>